Hello friends and welcome to a quick tutorial. Uh, most of you are familiar with the uh, being able to grab the sword through the wall issue. BNG has addressed that. Um, he's made a ray cast where it checks for objects uh, between the player and the wall and you can't grab it. The issue is, is that you can still put your hand through the wall and grab it. Um, and you can also put your hand through the wall and collide with objects if you're using the hand collision. Well, I've written a script to fix that, and hopefully it'll work for you, but I'm going to show you how I'm doing it at the moment, and uh, stick with me, and I'll show you how I'm doing it. Okay, I'm in the XR demo scene, and I've already created the script. Um, it's really short, um, so I'll just bring it up. At the top, you're going to need using BNG, so create a new script and open it up, and then you're going to need using BNG at the top. And then you're going to need a private raycast. I call it hit no grab. Uh, you're going to need the transform, public transform for the player controller. You're going to need a public transform for the controller reference. And you'll need public game object hand models. So basically what we're doing is we're going to draw a line cast uh, between the player controller and our controller reference. And we're going to tag, we're not going to tag, we're going to, we're going to make a layer called wall layer. And we're going to put anything that we don't want to be able to grab things through on the wall layer. So a wall, a door, uh, whatever it may be that you don't want to be able to put your hand through and grab something on the other side. We're going to tag it as wall, or we're not going to tag it, but we're going to make it, put it on the wall layer. This int layer mask, uh, this is expecting an integer. And this is just a way for us to assign a string called wall layer to an integer. That's all this is. So int layer mask equals layer mask dot get mask wall layer. So this is just getting our layer that we've created wall layer. This physics dot line cast, I use it quite often. This is really handy for uh, stuff like trip wires and things like that. Um, but basically this just draws a line in between two objects, uh, two object positions. So we're going to draw a line in between our controller reference and our player controller's positions. And then we're going to... Uh, put whatever we hit if we hit anything we're going to store that colli that collision in uh, our our variable hit no grab which is up here and we're putting a layer mask on it so the only thing it's looking for is objects that are on the wall layer so if we put our hand through a wall it sees that it's marked as wall layer and then it stores what we hit in hit no grab so then we can say if hit no grab dot collider is not equal to null so if it hits something which is going to be the wall layer. Then it's going to get our component growls and trigger that's on our, our grabber, and it's going to disable it. And our hand models, it's going to look through all our hand models and find the hand collision script, and it's going to disable that. That way we can't collide off objects on the other side of the wall if we're, you know, we can't reach through and, and make a fist and start hitting stuff around. Um, and then else if, so if we're not hitting anything and there's, there's no collider there, like we don't have something in between us and our, our controller, it's going to do the opposite. It's going to enable the gravels and trigger so that we can grab stuff again. And then it's going to re-enable our hand collision so we can collide off stuff again. It's that simple. So far, this is what I'm using. It seems to be working great. So save that up. Go back into Unity and then go up to your XR rig, span it out, uh, come down to your left controller, come down to your grabber, and put no grab on there. And then same for the right controller, come down to your grabber and put no grab on there. Then come to your grabber, scroll down, you'll see it needs three things. We need our player controller, we need our controller reference, which is just gonna be our left controller and then we need our hand models, models left. And then the same thing for our right grabber. It's gonna need our player controller. It's gonna need our controller reference, so that's our right controller. And it's gonna need our hand models again. Okay, models right. And then raycast remote grabables. If true, grabables in the trigger will only be considered valid if no objects are in the way between it and the transform. So check it and same thing over here grabber check it now let's hop into VR and check it out and see where we're at all right here we are we can grab stuff yay cool 
Okay, grabbing stuff like crazy. Can't grab through the wall. Oh. What's going on there? Let's see. Yeah, I know what I forgot. If you click on your wall, yeah, I need to follow my own advice. Let's see. Climbing wall. Make a layer. Call it wall layer. Select wall. Yes, change children. Let's try that again. Still grab stuff. Cool. Yeah. Can't grab it. And now I can't grab it because I've put my wall on a wall layer. Can't collide off of it either. And there you go. Hope this helps you uh, fix that issue. I uh, hope you found it informative and thanks for joining.